11-year-old Emily Anderson and her 17-year-old sister Caitlin have been without their dad for the past 10 months while he's been stationed in Iraq. They thought he wasn't coming home for another two months, but today they got a very special surprise while they were in school. For the better part of a year, Sherry Anderson and her five daughters have been without her soldier husband, Jeremy, a helicopter mechanic with the 834th Aviation Unit. He actually missed their graduation. And they graduated in prom and um, moving them to college. He got out of that, too. <laughs> Sherry and Jeremy initially told all their daughters that he would be deployed for a year in the hopes of surprising them with an early return. We all kind of found out, and she was mad about it, but <laughs> we helped her out, so we were sniffing and figuring it out. Darn! I can't keep any secrets. She can't. No. She, she's a good house full of girls, you can't keep any secrets. <laughs> the older three became part of the plot to surprise their younger sisters. Monday, Sherry drove to Fort Hood, Texas to pick up Jeremy and then back to Tulsa in time to surprise Emily at Haskell Middle School. So where's Emily Anderson at? Now this husband and father is home just in time for the holidays. Just being away and knowing that, you know, you can't be there for special little events and stuff like that that they're doing and, you know, something breaks, you know, out there to fix it. With almost his entire family reunited, there's just one more stop for Sergeant Anderson to make. A visitor for you all for your Thanksgiving story. Come on in. Oh, oh my God. God. At Broken Arrow High School to surprise his daughter, Caitlin. I was really shocked. Like, I didn't know he was coming till two months, so it was amazing. Anderson's unit doesn't have any immediate plans to deploy again, so he'll also be spending the Christmas holiday with them as well. Reporting from Broken Arrow, Casey Roebuck, 2 News Works for you. Dad? How are you here? <laughs> Magic. Oh, uh, jumped off the plane. Oh, Dad. Hey. <laughs> that scare you? No. No, it was literally magic. Uh, who's here? Who is that? Who is that? Mama, who is that? Mama. Oh, she's peeing everywhere. Mama, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, who is that? Is Daddy home? Yeah, she peed everywhere. <laughs> oh, BB. She's so happy. Oh, Mama. Your Daddy's home. Don't pee on me. Oh, She's so happy. <laughs> Did you go clothes shopping already? No, that she was far, far away. Cause she no. didn't know what free their house was. So she drives and sees that it's a bear, a three bears, a short bear, a middle sized bear. I'm taking some, uh, be careful. I'm taking some video. I'm videotaping you. Um, are you going to clap too? Yeah, I'm anxious to hear about this story. Yeah. Finley, please be careful. And the baby bear. Finley, you are worrying me. Mommy, are you going to take pictures? <coughs> yeah, I'm videotaping. And the baby bear had a heart. Oh. For someone. With little hearts on it. That. You need a computer? Yeah. And. Okay, just a minute. Mommy, how do you spell one? Okay. 
Like yeah. once upon a time? Yeah, how do you spell once upon a time? Yeah. O. Okay. N. Okay. C. Are you watching, okay. Mommy? E. Then the heart was once upon a time. Mommy! Upon is you. Mommy, are you listening? Yes. Okay. P. Then huh? the P. house. Then the heart. Okay. O. Okay. Mommy, I don't know. Who's <gasps> somebody's at the door? Somebody's at the door? Hold on. Now just calm down. Don't run. Don't run. Now just stop. Who could it be? Oh, no idea. Go ahead. <gasps> Who is it? It's Daddy! What? But I found out that I was coming home early. Thank you. Was this a surprise? Yes. This is I a surprise. Are you shocked? Uh huh. Hi guys. Hi, Daddy. Hi. How are you? Good. Hi. D, go, go. You go get her yourself. Go in there and get her yourself. Go get her, D. Deanna, go get her. Go get her. Go. I don't want her to. See. Go. Go. Go get her. No. I want you guys to be surprised at the same time. Yeah. Go. I'll bring it. I'm not going to tell you. If I tell you one more time, I'm leaving. I will leave. Go. Aubrey, Diana. Aubrey, Diana. Where's Aubrey? because a room full of Hazel Dell Elementary students honored our veterans. They may not have known some of them, but through this program, they learned the service they made for our country should be recognized. And everyone here today became a part of a touching moment between a mom and her daughter. At this time, we would like to welcome a very special guest. Who had no idea Petty Officer 2nd Class Laura Endicott was back from her five-month deployment 
aboard the USS Baton. Petty Officer Second Class Endicott has served eight and a half years in our military. She worked for the Air Force, the Marines, the Army, and now the Navy. It's so nice to see all the, the, the other veterans, the actual veterans here. Every single one of them sacrificed a lot for us. For this mom, being away from her daughter has been tough. Just talking to her and seeing her, <laughs> not on a daily basis is hard. Emails and pictures got both of them through it. But holding each other today, showing their love, makes it so much better. This song, The Time of My Life, you give that to me. And, you know, I've, I've got to do this here because okay. this... <laughs> oh, no, Will you marry me? A Dancing with the Stars shocker, and for once, we're not talking about an elimination. Noah Galloway proposed to girlfriend Jamie Boyd, who didn't see it coming at all. I'm speechless, and I'm never speechless. <laughs> That's about a baby. I love you so much. I love you. Or is that a yes? Is that oh, a yes? Heck yes. <laughs> Noah got down on one knee during his backstage interview after earning rave reviews and a score of 36 out of 40 for his performance. Of course, the crowd went crazy. We see you, Demi Moore. Even Tom Bergeron needed a minute before throwing to a commercial break. Can I, can I borrow your tissues? Congrats to the happy couple. Petty Officer Christopher Karmbach. I'm a drilling reservist with uh, AFRICOM at Fort Meade. I currently uh, have been deployed with JTF Gatmo in Guantanamo Bay. And I'm here to um, surprise my wife and my kids um, at the uh, militarykids.org um, celebration of uh, military children. Petty Officer First Class Intelligence Specialist Christopher Karnbach is currently deployed to Cuba. Scheduled return home at the end of this month. He and his wife, Anne Marie, are both music teachers. Their children, nine-year-old Christopher and seven-year-old Abigail, both received grants for martial arts during this deployment. What do you th how do you think they're gonna react? Uh, they're gonna freak. <laughs> they are, I, I, I mean, they're gonna be completely surprised. Right, so, thanks, we're gonna go get ready. Yeah, kids, come on up. We have a commitment to support our families whenever and wherever they need it in any component. So it's great to be with you here today, General. Thank you much. Okay, kids. What do I need to do? <laughs> well, we got two kids and two boards. I think we need one more volunteer. The Admiral's brave enough. Let's look for one more person that uh, might volunteer. Somebody brave who's not afraid of splinters. How about you, sir? There's our volunteer right there. This has been a, a great opportunity for my children, and I'm sure as well as the other children, to, to give them something else to think about rather than their parent that's deployed downrange, whether it's um, Afghanistan or uh, Guantanamo Bay, all the various places they've been sent to. So here's me, Erin, again. Uh, we are surprising my dad here at this bar called Shameless O'Leary's in Redding, California. He has no idea that I'm home, and uh, our server's in on it, the bartender's in on it, and everybody else basically is in on it. So, hope it goes well. Apparently, they just, with hers. Oh my god, Kyle! What? I'm pretty sure we've done this before. Everybody I'm a size 14. Are you really? I gotta try it. Okay, so we're scared to get the knife out. You can't send me a Oh, <laughs> 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 
my manager said your name. There you go. Uh, <laughs> one of my coworkers goes, yeah, Jay Pink is the best guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not ready to be. Young girls are way more yeah. easy. Uh, or way meaner than women, right? And he goes, women are evil. Period. <laughs> yeah. All of them. In the video. All of them. It works. It's it it awesome. It's taken me 39 minutes to figure that out. And you know what? <laughs> I, I, I'll pass that. Uh, I'll pass that on to anybody. Uh, I thought you were. No bitterness.